Good morning. <laughs> What's everybody doing? I have roses and I'm gonna use them. Thank God. I'm gonna take the, every morning and literally smell the roses because I have some. My rose bush is killing it out there. Stellar. Okay, it's coffee time. You guys ready? Let's get some thoughts in. Um, Kevin's mowing the lawn. We were not supposed to have clear skies today. It was supposed to rain all day. Um, but we have a break in it, and, uh, and it hasn't rained all morning, so we're going to cut the grass real quick before it does so that our yard is not unmanageable. Um, okay, so every time that I do this, I try to think of something that is, you know, a a good mindset to put yourself in for the week, you know, to kind of really focus and meditate on one certain, one certain thing. Um, and this week, what I've been noticing is, uh, and, and what the, the, the energy and the feel that I'm getting is, you know, some people are starting to receive loans and grants and things of that nature, which are fabulous, fabulous for them. And they really, really need it. Uh, and it's helping to bail them out in an otherwise, you know, tough situation. And uh, when you see that happening, and it's not happening for you, you start to fall into this um, this mindset of like being a victim, and that is the worst thing you can do, um, because. When you feel like that, it can bring on anger, depression, uh, anxiety. <laughs> I, I joked earlier this week that I was, I was looking in the, my bank account for that stimulus check. <laughs> I was like, log in, refresh, refresh, refresh. It's not happening. But it's okay. I'm okay. You're okay. We're okay. Nothing's, nothing is, nothing is going to, drastically change like that overnight we're we're okay um and we have to remind ourselves that we're fine we're gonna be okay um being a victim or a martyr gets you absolutely nowhere and the most important thing i want you guys to think about this week every morning when you get up and you have your coffee i want you to think about running your own race um put those blinders on and run your own race put a you know just focus on what you've got what you've got available to you and what you've got to work with and I want you to put that to the ultimate use um, it's easy to fall into a rut it's easy to get complacent it's easy to uh, just lay down and let the world pass you by and feel depressed about it but that is not what you need to do right now uh, you've got things available to you if you have you know, a yard or property, you plant something, grow something. There, nothing brings you, you know, out of your, out of your funk, like seeing new life. Um, and you just have to just push for that as hard as it is. And I know some days you're going to have days where you just don't feel like it and that's okay. It's okay. Take a day off, get your energy back, regroup, but don't let it become a habit. You know, got to get up every day and uh, and see what's available to you and make it work for you. Um, I believe in you guys. I've talked to a lot of you one-on-one -on -one this week. Um, super proud of what you're doing out there. You guys are really doing great. Um, you're making the most out of what you've got and you're working hard at it. You're doing not only your part to keep yourself energized and still moving, you know, but you're reaching out to friends and you're helping friends uh, stay that way as well. And you're you're still communicating and connecting with people um, in whatever ways are are available to us. And um, I'm proud of you guys. If no one else has told you today, I'm super proud of you guys. Um, so cheers. Enjoy your day. Get out there and uh, make it happen before the rain comes. Because you don't want your yard to be six feet tall like mine is. All right. Peace.